today I'm going to show you my route for sands at night. So at the beginning here there's a mini ore right behind us so we can throw some orbs to lure it out and take a nice picture there. So you can always restart if you don't get it perfectly. It's right there at the beginning. So we're going to lure some trap pinch here, some fruit. You see that other one pushing the other one closer to us. Alright, then throw some fruit here at the Skorupi, bring those towards us too, and then we can scan and startle them and take a picture. We can stop these Cacnea from running away by throwing some apples. And sometimes they run slower towards him and sometimes they run fast. It's always different, it seems. Alright, throw a fruit at the Kangaskhan, then at the Silly Cobra. And now we can start luring the Kangaskhan closer to us, and this is where we'll try and use most of our shots. So again, it does its roar, it seems, at random times too. It doesn't always do it at a time, but if you can get all your bursts on this Kangaskhan, you're gonna pretty much get the record easily, so yeah. That gives you a lot of points, so each time it roars, next one just lure it a bit closer to you. And I usually try and get like four to five bursts, but if you can get more than that, then you'll probably get the record on this course. <laughs> so I just keep luring it, hitting it with the fruit, trying to make it roar again. And yeah, this these ones this is gives you a lot of points. It give you close to five thousand if you have the Skorupi in the frame two. You can hit over five thousand with it. So we're just going to keep doing this until we can't get Angus Khan fully in frame anymore and... Yep, this will sometimes happen No, uh, we'll just keep running into the Skorupi and then we'll just like kind of glitch out. But yeah, this is... we'll try and lure it as close as we can to us. And I'm trying to get one more roar here before going over. Alright, we're going to switch to one and then we're going to... Try and lure the Vivian, Vivian out. So the trick here is to... It's very simple. All you have to do is hit each Lycan Rock twice with the fruit. That includes all three Lycan Rock, including the one on the left here. And yeah, so it's like they'll always be in, like in different spots every time. So if you don't get them, it's not a big deal. Just retry. But yeah, just hit each one twice, and then the Vivian will come out on their own. So I hit that one once, so... Next one's gonna run away. I hit it again, and then it'll get angry. That's when I take the picture of it. And yeah, this one's pretty far away, I th but I'm pretty sure I can hit it. There, I think that's it. That's two hits there. Yeah. Alright, so you want to try and get all three before you get this hip held on. Get a picture there and then see the Vivian or they come out on their own. You don't need to hit the Crystal Bloom. And then this Magikarp seems to be like it pops out in a different spot. That could just be me. And then there's the Sancho. You'll have enough time for the Sancho and I kind of jumped the gun on that picture there but it should give me over 4,000. Next is the Tyranitar. Hit the Crystal Bloom. This stops the Sandstorm. And then we're going to wake it up with the Fruit. And we're just going to wait a bit. I'm going to switch to three bursts because I think this is the best for this roar that he's going to do here. So I hit him a bit again. He'll stop. Get as close as you can. He'll roar three bursts. And I think that's all, all the shots for that pose. And then... Use the rest on the Flygon, and again, if you have used more Bursts on the Kangaskhan, that's good. If you use them all, just save at least one picture for the Tyranitar and Flygon here at the end. But yeah, if you, the Kangaskhan is the one that gives you the most points in this course. And it's war, it seems to be always to random at different times. So let's see what our picture is. So yeah, the Minior, first one. It's so right there at the beginning. If you don't get him fully in frame, just restart. <laughs> three, three points improvement. Yeah, that Cacnea could have been a bit better. They sometimes 
walk towards the food instead of running. And yeah, see the Kangaskhan? 4,900s give you sometimes 5,000. Yeah, so for the Lycan Rock, when it roars, it's usually best to use a sideways picture. That seems to give you the most score. Yeah, that Sentry wasn't the best, but it still gave me over 4,000. Tyranitar was 48 with that roar. And the rest on Flygon. Flygon is going to give you around 4,600. So again, the Kangaskhan, when it roars, it gives you more points if you have more. If it roars for you more times, then you have a better chance and you'll probably get a record. Like, this wasn't the best attempt, but I think I've grinded enough for 4.7 million here. It should give you easily top 10 with this route like it's pretty simple just remember to hit each lichen rock twice with the fruit and that's how you get the vivion to come out so you don't need to go on the right side for them to spawn you can do it on the left as long as you hit them across so yeah thank you all for watching and have a good one and hope you have success with this